Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Lara Croft Through. And um, this is the second time I'm saying this because <laughs> our recording has stopped. Oh, that was really fun. And then <laughs> I, silly me, got rid of my uh, audio recording. Yes. And um, we, we still had the visuals and because there is no backtracking in the game uh, after a certain point... So uh, we're watching the video and doing post commentary. I, I I hope you can forgive us, guys. And um, the ending, though, that the thing that got actually cut, we can still play that. So we'll play that, but we'll just do post post comments for yeah. this video. And um, yeah, whoops and saws and uh, <laughs> hopefully it sounds natural. Uh, it, sh it should do because we'll still get it really excited about a certain part in the game, which I'm talking about for the second time. Yes, and I died again. Oh, oh, oh instant death! That was uh, that was beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So, oh man, I think it's just the fact that we kind of got overexcited and I didn't realize I was not recording. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, you know, accidents happen. That's the fact of life. And actually, with the video playing, I can see a lot better as well. It's a lot more smooth and there's not as much lag. Which is weird because you're still screen sharing. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but it yeah. might be the fact that it's a game and not a video. I don't know. It's a video, not a game. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah st it's still good. I can actually see things happening-ish. <laughs> I mean, it's glitchy still, but it's not so bad. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, um, this is like... We have said before, this is like the last um, last area of the game. Um, she's slowly getting to Himiko and trying to stop this whole thing. So, reversing the wind, it's kind of funny. Um, and reversing all these idiots trying to stop us. Yeah, as, I've, uh, as I queen. mentioned previously, that was uh, destroyed. <laughs> um, <laughs> we were saying how uh, how silly it seemed to have uh, the guys there still defending Himiko, even though we know that Himiko will just pretty much mess them up after she's resurrected and whatnot, because they're the reason that, or well, she's the reason that they are here in the first place. So, but yes. as I had said before, was uh, it'd be kind of pointless to have Lara Croft just waltz in to Himiko without having any kind of hindrance. Mm. And um, and then we referenced to... Tomb Raider uh, 2, which is... Oh, actually, we just referenced it really to a lot of the Tomb Raiders because most of the time the end boss and the final kind of sequence or whatever you want to call it is usually there was a puzzle, a really big puzzle, and then it happened. Yeah. Um, and I, I was just referencing Tomb Raider 2 because the last levels are very trippy and I... <laughs> yeah. the squeaks to actually have and seen them but we didn't get the chance to finish off the game we got close we got oh, really we far but hugely far but um yeah but next time next time we come visit we'll finish it Definitely. in one sitting hopefully hopefully <laughs> but yeah um I don't uh, I can't remember the last boss on the first Tomb Raider game I can't remember if there was a puzzle before him uh, it. the, uh, maybe not a puzzle in itself, but the, the level design there was very, um, intricate, you could say, from I guess my memory. So. Well, Because it was hard to get out of that whole place, I think. Well, without spoiling anything. Not to ruin, anything. not to ruin anything, yeah, obviously. Yeah, well, not, not to spoil anything, but the last boss in the Tomb Raider is high up, so you had to jump all the way up there, I think. I think, I think that was just the hindrance, was just getting there. Mm. But I don't remember it very well. I remember the boss itself, and he was pretty weird, and it didn't really make sense to me, but <laughs> hey, whatever. It's Tomb Raider. Yeah. Oh, that was a, uh, that was a, oh. yep. Yeah. This is going to be very weird. This is the first time we're ever doing, um, post-commentary, so. <laughs> it really is, but it's hey. It's very weird. Well... Yeah, especially since we know what's going to happen in the future. Does that make us psychic? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it makes us psychic. Shh. <laughs> we are cool. We can read your thoughts. Not really, no. No, that makes you telepathic. Is that telepathic? Yeah, mm. telepathic. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking of telekinesis for some reason. I got mixed up with way. Telekinesis. Yeah, having telekinesis, you move things with your mind. Mm. I was like, no, wait a minute. 
Telepathy. It's where you read minds. Mer. See? <laughs> oh. Okay, we're so close yet so far away. Yep. We sure are. We sure mm, are. And I remember that right here, she didn't want to grab onto this ledge. Oh, yeah, she wasn't responding <laughs> I was when you spamming clicked spamming E to get her to grab <laughs> it on, but she wasn't responding until like the last minute. And I was like, oh, you son of a bitch. She likes doing that, not responding. Mm. Like when she wasn't walking. And this sequence right here is dedicated to Black Wolf. Yes, because Black Wolf. Long live the Black Wolf. <laughs> Long live. <laughs> Long time. Nah. When we said that we're going to kill Black Wolf and Leo, he started to um, get angry with me. <laughs> Ooh. After he watched the video, after he watched Ooh. it. It's because they're too funny. Yes. How dare they be so funny? <laughs> How dare you, Black Wolf? We how just no, just just no. <laughs> but mm. you can have cuddles with my dog if you maybe stop being so funny. <laughs> maybe, Mabes. Uh, that guy, he kills off his own guys, so that it's good for my, for us. Oh hell yeah! Because he ends when he swings the damn thing, he ends up killing all the others. It did happen for me when I first finished it. It didn't? No, no not that I think hmm. of. I don't know, maybe because I was always so close to him. And it, see, he's teleporting. I don't know if you can see it in this. now. Uh, no, I'm just sort of glitchy, but yeah, hey. You, you have to watch it get, uh, back, but he's, he's like teleporting from one spot to another. I don't know if it's a scripted event or something, but yeah, it's annoying. I was like, ah. Well, maybe he was he's just magical. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Magic. magic. <laughs> We're getting there. Getting to our favorite spot in the whole game. <laughs> it's I'm so weird that this is like the l end of the game, and this is your our favorite episode. Uh, episode. Our favorite um, part, you know. Aside from the pool of blood, because that's yes, that's grim. The pool of blood is pretty good. So amazing. I mean, it's not good. As in, like, it's not. It's it's just like so. It's, it's the most intense thing that happens. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's good in 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 yeah. storytelling. Why is not the fact that there's a pool of blood? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the the thing that creeped me out the first time I um I played that part was, you know, how dirty that blood could be, and you know she had open wounds. Like, ugh, what if she what if she had AIDS? Yeah. Like like like, like not saying it in like a degrading way. People that do have AIDS, but like you know like. You know, I was, my genuine thought was, oh no, she can like get some kind of disease yeah, or something. Yeah, some virus or something, yeah. Yeah. But then I was like, this wait, is a it's very a game. Gruesome death. No, like, yeah, the blood splatter everywhere. Mm. It's hell good. Well, at least he's dead, finally. Yeah, that's it. Good thing we didn't, re you know, replay this whole bit because, you know, you would have died like 10 times. <laughs> yeah, Just knowing saying. my luck. <laughs> That's it. But but we couldn't go back to record it properly anyway. So because yeah. it gets to a point, it saves. Mm. Or like actually, this points. is this is the point where we can go back. So we'll see you in a sec. <laughs> hey guys, and we are back. So we're actually in the game now, and I'm playing. And um, we're we're sorry for that. It's it was weird. It's, it was yeah. a strange derp. <laughs> Yes. All right, so let's continue. This is the end of the game. And, um, yeah, we'll let it speak for itself. Let our favorite part of the game commence. Mm-hmm. Come, Matthias, come at All right, me. So obviously, we're trying to stop um, Matthias from... Oh, well, we're actually trying to stop Himiko from taking over Sam. And we're having this huge fight with Matthias, who was basically the main villain of the... Of the game, and our Smash favorite him. part is coming up now. Oh, she's seen the gun. She's seen the gun, and she, she has taken it. And wait for it. Wait for and, it. And oh my God, you can see it now. Dual pistol. Woo! 
The iconic Lara oh, yeah. Croft weapon. That's the way. Ah, uh huh, uh huh. Uh -huh. Lara likes, likes it. it. <laughs> I said I likes it, but <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> so this is the first and kind of the only time <laughs> Lara gets to use dual pistols in the game, but hey, we don't care. This is a like a how reference she to her. a ref just a reference to her like signature weapon is enough for us old time Lara Croft fans because yeah. almost uh what's it in all the games apart from the sixth one, is it um mm. Angel of Darkness, she uses dual pistols. Yes. And this is kind of a symbolic meaning that she's becoming Lara Croft. She is. Yeah. She she has gone through this shitstorm and. <laughs> Literally. She, uh, yeah. <laughs> and she has. Um, <laughs> shitstorm. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. I'm good. <laughs> So this is actually the end of the game, and we'll, we'll go through the cutscene itself because it's quite nice. Um, and we'll have yeah, a little bit of was, discussion. Um, it was it, this game has, I think, did a lot of justice to the to the series because even though it was a reboot, and even though in the back of my mind I was really worried about it, mm. I loved it. Yeah, I, I was pretty worried about it too, like how it may not follow you know her background honestly and how like you know i, I didn't really understand what reboot was at the, at the time how embarrassing but still um it yeah it, it is it is you always worry about these things especially if you love something that's old so much that's being redone mm. as you do but I, it's, it's very true because we find a different insight to a character and, and you yes. can even pretend that she had the same kind of past that you know that you know that she did in the other games and it still works fine because it's still almost the same thing it's just a little bit different circumstances of how, it's just it's just how she became a badass that's all yeah. you really need to know and what I feel, what I take out of this game the most is the fact that I finally get to see how she did become. Because you get a glimpse of it in Tomb Raider 4 where she has that companion, like that tutor person with her in the beginning. But you yeah. never get the full ass story, like why she becomes who she is. Yeah, well you didn't find out why she was being trained to dodge a boar and do these puzzles and crawl on the floor and be a smart ass. Yeah. But that was just like you know her thing. But with this bit here, as she's saying, um, she it, it's good because you know she, she realizes that myths, you know, sometimes have truth behind them, and then that kind of like sets a future point for new two um Tomb Raider games. <laughs> yeah. Because what I see in the future after this is. Like other myths that we know of, you know, and in, in, in the games, like oh yeah, let's you know, let's check out you know, the Bermuda Triangle. Let's check that out. Let's check out mm. old mate Norse gods or Greek gods. Well, no, no, we've already been to Greek gods and ancient Egyptian in the first game, but we could revisit those kinds of things. And you know, she, she could be a world-renowned like myth monster, I guess you could say. Yeah. <laughs> like, you so know what? I'm, yeah. Yeah, this this game is ending, but in reality, it's opening up to a whole huge amount of other games that can go on, and we see her journal, which kind of comes up a lot. And um, yeah, and the so fact she, that she's like, "Not, nah, I'm gonna explore this <laughs> shit." Yes, and this is basically the beginning. This is the end of the beginning. This beginning of the end. Nah, it's the end, <laughs> in the beginning. Yeah, oh, our survivor more. is born. Um, which was kind of like the slogan of the whole game throughout the yeah. development, and we have hope enjoyed playing Tomb Raider. Yeah, definitely. We yeah. It was. It's actually. I've heard that some people complain about this game, but I think it's really fantastic. It's very true, yes. and it's very. just people that that they really had the best intentions at heart. I mean. They couldn't exactly make a reboot of like the very first game, like all puzzles, a few wolves here and there, and some dinosaurs here and there. But you know, it's 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 just you know because of today's day and age, uh, with how we have our action games, and 
you know, we have to be wary, you know, mindful of all that. We can't have the old stuff back. There's just no way. Yeah. Alright, guys, well, this is kind of like the end of our series of Tomb Raider, the first Tomb Raider walkthrough. Um, mm hmm. There will be more. Yes, what we have in, in, in store for you guys, um, one, I'll be starting to do the um, the blooper reel, you might call it. <laughs> I get us to, do, yeah, I just get our stuff ups and stuff in one video, so that could be, that's going to be fun. Um, That'd be the other great. thing that we want to, that we really want to do is, um, Tomb Raider, we want to actually play through the Tomb Raider games. So we actually have started playing through Tomb Raider 1. It was back when this wasn't out yet, so we have a, a couple of episodes of that. So we will start we putting like this up now. Eight episodes. Yes. So we we're gonna start putting that up, and we hope you enjoy it. Um. Yeah. So. But yeah, just uh, like ignore some. I don't know if I mentioned it before that wasn't stuffed up. Um, ignore like references or like promises of uh, future episodes of stuff or whatever <laughs> because that yes. obviously didn't happen because it was back then and now. Yeah, you get the point. Yeah. But yeah, just ignore that stuff. But otherwise, should be still should still be fine. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I am tremendously happy to have finished the series. This is like the first series we ever finished on Industrial Primate, actually. Oh so it's yeah, like it's a, 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 a um, an achievement, maybe? I don't know how you want to call it. <laughs> yeah, achievement. We chuck chuck one in there. Achievement but, unlocked. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, we we hope, me and Squeaks hope that you have enjoyed it. We have enjoyed playing it and, and talking to you guys. Um, and, and yawning to you guys, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And we'll see you in a bit. Yeah, and, you know, Tomb Raider 1 all the way to... Uh, the one before this one, which was... Underworld. Uh, yes, Underworld. Yes. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. So, we'll see you in the next series. Bye, guys. Hope you enjoyed Bye. it as much as I did. Yep. Bye. Bye-bye.